of the Harbor Freight Centec brand 3-in-1 portable power pack. Uh, this normally sells for about 50 bucks, but you usually can find a coupon on their website or through their email specials or even mail specials uh, to get it for about 35 bucks. And basically what's in here is a sealed lead acid battery. Uh, it has a little flashlight or work light if you will, a voltmeter, and your on-off connection for the battery clamps over here. On the side over here, you have a 12 volt DC cigarette lighter port over here. And this is the port over here to charge it, which also does come out. It's uh, pretty tight, there you go. And uh, as you can see there, it has what looks like a regular, uh, you know, regular plug. And they give you the associated cords with that. They give you two cords actually. This is the AC cord right here. And it has the uh, plug like that, that you can just plug in there and it fits right in. And uh, they also give you the cigarette lighter charger here. And you can use this actually two ways. Number one is this is actually meant to charge it this way. You plug it in there, just like that. And uh, then you can plug this into the cigarette lighter of a car and charge it up that way. However, uh, the vehicle must be running because the battery in here is 12 volts and the battery in the car is 12 volts. So it generally is not going to charge by itself. You need to actually have the vehicle running so it'll get about 14 volts. And they state in the manual that uh, it's not going to charge as fully with the 12 volt cord as it will with the AC cord. But you can use this in reverse if you have anything that this plug will fit that runs on 12 volts. You can plug it in over here, because it's standard cigarette lighter plug, and use it that way. And there's two buttons over here. This one here runs the little voltmeter. You have to hold it in for it to work, because otherwise it'll just go away. Uh, this is not a very jeweled movement, so it definitely uh, wiggles around quite a bit, as you can tell there. But you can press it and hold it, and eventually it will settle down and show you the state of charge, and it generally settles a little over 100% like that when it is fully charged and when you let go obviously it goes down. The green button here is a click on and it stays on for the light just like that and it's actually pretty bright and provides a decent amount of uh, decent amount of light as you can tell even over here just like that. Um, you know it can certainly help you if it's uh, pretty dark out but anyway um, these battery clamps are always dead unless you turn this switch to the on position like that and then you can hook it up. Now what it states in the manual is you have to uh, basically hook this up to the car battery, turn the switch on and don't try to start the vehicle. You have to leave it for at least five minutes to allow it to recharge the battery in the vehicle and then you can try to start it. Which basically means that it's not really that great as a jump starter or boost pack if you will. Basically all it's going to do is replace the surface charge on the battery in the vehicle and uh, Hopefully you'll get one turn of the key out of that and if you're lucky the vehicle will start and you're all set uh, You have to recharge this after you use it that way So you, you really want to be careful about using it for that, but it is great as a portable power pack for the uh, 12 volt thing here or if you have something else that uh, requires considerably more current you can just hook the clamps up to it on the back of it is an access pa uh, panel or hatch if you will uh, that has uh, six eight screws on it here and we're going to use the little Harper Freight 4.8 volt screwdriver to remove these screws of course this is difficult with only one hand And it's going to tip over, so that's why it keeps slipping like that. But it's also nice with the light, as you can tell, like that. So it gives you an idea, at least, where you are. So I'll take those screws out and show you what's inside. I also forgot to mention this does have a charge indicator right over here, a red LED. And that will go out when the battery pack has been recharged. Here's the back of it open. Uh, you can see here the uh, rechargeable sealed lead acid battery. This is a 12 volt, 17 amp hour, 20 hour uh, standby time, or not standby time, but 20 hour run time for X amount of whatever it is. Uh, so that's the battery they give you in there, and it is replaceable. 
you can tell right here that goes to the battery clamp and the big wire there goes to the battery clamp and the smaller wires uh, feed over into the um, cigarette lighter plug here which I believe is only 10 amp and this of course is the switch right here uh, to switch that on and through to turn the battery cables on. In other words the negative is always connected and the positive is what is switched.